Welcome to the Linky Cast. This is the Jam Bomb Community's Guild Wars 2 podcast for the week of, I don't know, 8th of August, I guess? I, it, I'm in Australia. I do, it's the 9th it, year. It's I don't May. Know. It's May? Is it May? <laughs> oh shit, it's, it's May. May, isn't it? God, so many months Wars until Guild Wars 2 comes out. just launched. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, that that was a test to see if our fade in works. Um, happy to have, see there's a couple people joining us, not too many. Well, who's who's up in chat? Hey, chat, what's up? What's happening? I don't know if anyone you can, you can actually see us. Um, let us know if chat. you can hear My us. My name is Bob. Hey, Shinboy, what's up? And let us know if we are too loud, too quiet, so and so forth. This is a test episode more than anything else. What's up? Um, that's that's kind of cool to see. Indeed, hi to both of you. Um. Yeah, so essentially, Hello everybody. Yeah, hey, welcome back, Duran. So that, that was our. This is going to be a test show. So that was a test to see if we can do an intro. How did the intro show, uh, kind of pan out? Was it okay? I guess it was. It sounded okay in my end. But Duran, do you, do you have any idea how that panned out? Probably not well, too terrible. Well, uh, you gave me five I thought the volume did control didn't crash. That. So better than okay. last time. Yay. Oh, at least five. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Woo. Um, yeah, exactly. That, that's good to know. But volume control is always a bitch. And you're using BSD this week, right? Yes. So we have, we have a couple things to talk about. Um, I, oh, yeah. Aren't you going to introduce everyone? Gosh, yeah. so Noob rude. Rama. How you doing, I, Noob? I am just shocked at how rude you are. How and Is that how you how your mother raised you? Jesus. Come on. I, apparently. Come on. Apparently. I, it's I, disgusting. I, you, well, you, uh, she, I want, she I want no to... part of this podcast anymore. I am out. This is <laughs> yeah. game over. Just offensive. I've never been so offended. Well, 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 I, I'm I wouldn't go that far. Come on. Because <laughs> so, I was raised to pretty much just not care about other people. You know? Right. I, 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 the fact that I've lowered myself to your level and actually introduced you to the podcast at all. Wow. I mean, wow. Wow. This is unbelievable. Duran is also joining me this week. How are you doing, Duran? Oh, I'm doing all right. Okay. And better tomorrow. And special playing. guest Felicia Day. Felicia, Felicia Day, Day you joining us. Don't... Hey Felicia Day, what's up? I see I, your wonderful un- unboxing talented. video. I'm not very talented, <laughs> but everyone loves me. <laughs> no, I, uh, it's it's Zoom subject. Zoom around. Yeah, let's not let's, 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 let's not do that because I, to... internet beef is not exactly the most interesting kind. Let's just say that. No, um, it's not. It's anyway. the uh, worst beef known to man. So how are our levels, beef. guys? Uh, are we, are we coming right through relatively well fine? I, I, we did some testing beforehand. I, I can't really tell one way or another. Um, just let us know in the chat. Aside from that, we can start our first topic. Um, I think my favorite is Shinboy's... Not to not to pick favorites, but I'm picking one anyway. Shinboy's topic, which was um, changes we would do. So the, the actual topic itself is uh, if we were to meet a Arena dev and they were to say, hey... What would you change about Guild Wars 2? Or what would be the one thing you would mechanically change not to do with balance about Guild Wars 2? And, uh, you know, what, what would be your answers? That, that's essentially the first question on the list. It's just about Shinboy 630. Thank you very much for that. And who wants to start? Nibirama? Do you have, do you have any um, ideas? I, I'll... Uh, Zoom in, go. Uh, I... <laughs> Are you serious? All right, well, I got something. Nice I got something. It's not like we were to- It's not like we had, like, you know, eight <laughs> hours. <laughs> I've got something. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, Zimmy. Okay, go. go. I'd remove Felicia Day from the game. Oh, Oh, for fuck's sake. (laughs) That's a cop-out. A cop-out. Okay, sure, sure. Is there anything... Durin, what would you do? I I know this is something they plan to put in later on, but I'll still go ahead and say it because I feel like this is... Given the the PvP-centricness of Guild Wars 2, I think it's fucking insane the game is not launching with a 1v1 dual system, and that should be in at launch. Ooh... I actually disagree. Wait, so one v one duel, like or... like world dueling. PvP like I should dueling. be able to right click on somebody and say, "Hey, you want to duel?" And they should be able to say yes, and then well, we beat each other. That's where my my point would come in, but I guess I'll let during go first. Wait, you can just you know, oh, okay. okay. My point like, is, what do you they want? should just have a guild hall like they did before, and you can have one v one scrims, whatever. Just in, just you can set up your own scrim games. You have your guild hall. You can sink in hundreds of thousands of gold coins into your guild hall and get like all the fancy traders and everything. And I'm not sure why they're launching without it, considering the game is called Guild Wars. And I don't know if that's not why it's called Guild Wars, but <laughs> come on, yeah, come exactly. on. That's like the, the Would, you rather, now. Would you just rather I mean, it be called two? Just... <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. I, I, that, would, that would probably be, that would probably be two. Cool. Would you imagine? Would you imagine a show like a, a game just called Two? 
it was called two. I mean, there was yeah. one, there was one called it'd thirteen. Be like, it would be it would be an indie game. It'd be like a postmodern indie game, and it would show would it like the decline of human society yeah. um, overall due to you know globalization. And then you and get through the entire game, stuff. and you get to the end and realize the whole game was actually just about shit. Yeah. <laughs> For pooping or shit, just shit. Just just shit. The shit. <laughs> So it's just like the cake in Portal, but instead of like the cake at the end, it's just like <laughs> it's, it's just like the like hallways and shit. Yeah, it's, it's the, the it's the only game that supports Nintendo's vitality sensor. <laughs> oh god! Uh, and you've got to well play with played, your pulse. Sir. You've, got well get, played. you've got to get your pulse racing in order to survive the game. <laughs> um. Oh god! But you know, it's dueling system is an interesting thing, and the same with the scrimmaging for our girls because. Well, it's, just it's kind of, in general. What, like, if, if you were, if that was the case, like, what would you drop? Like, they do have limited development resources, and so well, what would I drop? Delete your deck because it's something to <laughs> change, not something to add. Um, no, I'm sure. Like, with the amount that she, they paid her, they could probably make you know other <laughs> higher more people. They could employ like but, four uh, other devs. <laughs> I don't know. I, no, I, I no, actually no, no. I agree with Project Three Four Three. I think I think she did a pretty good job with Zoja. And especially, and somebody said this in one of the threads as well, and I completely agree that no matter what people say, whatever they hate for Felicia Day, she did a way better job of doing an Asura than the person Why who we... plays the main character. That's that's not. Oh, let's wow. not go there. Let's not go there. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I think the main character does a pretty good job. Um, I, I, I yeah, I for females. It's the I main character voiced by show. Olivia Munn. <laughs> <laughs> Is no, it weird that I don't but, know who that is? If what? I could drop something in... I don't know who that don't is. don't know who Olivia Munn is? No. Who's Olivia Munn? She was in uh, Lord of the Rings. She was Legolas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know, yeah, what would you guys drop? She if plays you were the one to... I, I would drop... I would probably drop um, World vs. World. All of it. All of it. <laughs> no, no, I'm Fuck just kidding. You. Uh, I'd probably drop just like the server kind of PvP stuff, like the server really? browser. I mean, I mean, once you <sighs> you would drop structured PvP. Oh, no, 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 no. no I think he means right, like right. having a server list, like having a server browser yeah, instead like of just a server going list. In. That's, that's not something. Right. That's not even comparable. It that's like a, a small thing as part of structured PvP versus right, right, an fine, entire fine, guild fine, scrimmaging fine. system. Uh, I would drop. I would drop the elementalist class. Okay, oh, any sort of development <laughs> that went into the elementalist class could go into guild halls. That's kind of the hard part about this is it's really hard to find an aspect of the game that you would be willing to part with. Like even give up, right? even, yeah. even going so far as like you could say, well, I would just get rid of the, maybe the die system. Like like no, fuck that. I want my no. customization. Like that's right. the thing. That's that's well, also really hard about this question. Like you can't just go, oh, I want this. Base or level or how about thing. how about how long are you willing to push back this game for, <laughs> and for to get what exactly. you want? Negative three yeah. months. <laughs> I would remove aspects of this game so I can get it sooner. Okay, I, actually, yeah, Se vistas. yeah, Seber, I could, I could be okay with that. Like the idea of removing vistas and and putting in like proper cinematics, maybe not all over the place, but occasionally in your personal story, like that could actually be kind of neat. I, well, Guild Wars has always been lacking in cinematics. Like it, in the first Guild Wars, I don't think they had any FMV. Prince Rorik. Oh, and then, right, God. guys, this, this is mad. This is mad because you know you say how they make money. I'd remove the cash shop. <laughs> <laughs> so you pay a subscription, is what you're saying? No, it's still free. Do it, do it. But I just remove the cash <laughs> shop. They just don't make money. Is is what. Uh, they're... So, so what we can say and then about the money those they saved on is... Felicia Day, they put back into maintaining <laughs> the servers. That could literally put Guild Wars Two up for like keep... three years. <laughs> yeah. I think you guys are way overestimating how much <laughs> she pulls no, from no, a, a clearly job. Clearly not. Um, <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, it, I hit I Guild totally... pays one million per episode. <laughs> Whoa, I, I, I totally am of the opinion <laughs> that we can't really. The interesting thing being about larger features like that is because I, I, I couldn't really think of anything I would drop in favor of them. Like the structured PvP yeah. system is pretty much. How the problem yeah. is the world. thing is though we've. I don't think we've played it enough to get annoyed with anything. Like, at the moment, everything's like, mm. oh, great, oh, I want to try this, I want to try that. But then after six months, we might be like, oh, my God, I hate walking around. Why didn't they yeah, just maybe. Well, give they, me uh, this? Give us mounts or whatever. Yeah, well, I don't, yeah. I don't know. I feel like like the mount thing, like being somebody who's come from playing oh, a no, lot of them, I knows the hell. This is, just, this is just blatantly speculation. Or just the yeah, I, no, 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 I mean just the idea of like being annoyed at, oh, i got to walk around. Like, being somebody who has played, you know, like a lot of other MMOs and stuff, like, 
I don't see that as big of an issue because there are fucking waypoints everywhere in this I did, game. I didn't. I just. I just meant something generic, like something generic and annoying that you know you discover six months down the line and you're like, oh, <laughs> I'll drop that. I didn't specifically mean. God, guys. remove walking <laughs> from the game. You must only <laughs> use waypoints to get around. So, Zoomerama, did you, did you have an idea for what you would, uh, what you'd change mechanically that there was to? Guess not. No. no. <laughs> I mean, I can do mine. I have three. So I, I can just, uh, just whip right. those out. So, all right. Whip first thing out. on my Literally. list of things yeah. I would change mechanically about Guild Wars 2 if asked by a developer. I've got three. Uh, one of these, if I was to pick one, it would probably be this one. Uh, my number one, one on the list is this one? Heart, heart, heart Quest timers or Heart Quest completion levels have to be reduced significantly. That's the number one thing. I would change about Guild Wars 2. So by timers, you mean like just... the time it takes for it to restart again? Yeah. Uh, not even, no, because hard quests are always on. It's, it's more like um, how much time how it, takes it takes to, to complete. To... Oh, oh that's because you don't like grinding. Grinding's the most fun in the game. It is the worst it. thing. I, see, I don't see like, those as grinding. Like, it's, it feels like grinding. It feels like no. complete. Like, no. In fact, it takes, it takes like 20 minutes to feed a, complete a hard quest. And, yeah, and a lot of them you get like, like a hell of a lot of monsters XP. in this area. Yeah, like you get a ton of experience for it. So it's. I mean, yeah, I know what. I know what. You get cynic equivalent means, to. Yeah. What, what, what like, are your thoughts, Go, go, pick up a wrench, and then four hundred wrenches later, you're like, yeah. I've, d I've done it. It Great. takes four. Ever to finish any of those, like right, but especially when we're rolling as a guild. It's not like they're giving you one team. one option to like, oh, just kill this. You have multiple options. You have different ways of completing your objective, and that means it's not much of a grind because well, you're not doing one repetitive task Shin, over and over again. Shinboy has a, has a point. So. Um, he says, says in chat that uh, if you think that's grinding, you've uh, never had to grind an MMO, and I think that's I think that's actually part of it. Is <laughs> yeah. that like you've you're never spoiled. really like you've never you played a proper MMO. The only child. thing you really played is Guild Wars One, and like. But again, these that are the is standards far... you should be playing towards, you know? Like, how how is, how is that the standards you should be playing towards? Like you're talking about a game that is barely an MMO, and and the sequel to it being a full fledged MMO, and well, things have to compared change. Compared to any other game, like it's not about like the grinding aspect of it. It's, that's not even what I care about. It's more along the lines of the pacing of it. I'm not saying you should take out hard quests because I think they're they're good and they they serve their purpose of directing. Right, but then then you're games. giving no. rewards way too simply. Yeah, like, like, well, like you need to have a point where rewards. it's like you've it's, got it's to like hard quests are too emphasized at the moment. People I, I, I think, are using or playing the game like a checklist. Which well, I think part of it bad, is especially... that, is that we haven't seen the rest of the game because, like, you're saying that hard quests are too no. emphasized, but we know that, or at least we've been told by ArenaNet that later on, as, as he progresses through the game, they're going to be less and less emphasized. And I think the, the and further and further apart. Yeah, yeah and I think that, that it's smart the way they're doing it because what they're doing is they're they're um, in these starting areas. They're really kind of catering towards more towards kind of the standard MMO player. They need objectives, they need, you know, quest hubs um, and, and places like that. So that's what those are for. And as they get kind of but more do used they to need the game... Grinding? And... Like, do, do they need a front-load grinding? Just, like, that's really? not grinding. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's not grinding. grinding. That's, that's the thing. It it's, feels it's, like it's, it. It feels like it to you because you haven't played an MMO. Grinding, that is not grinding. grinding. Okay, okay, right. but first and foremost, I have not played body. MMOs, but I've played Final Fantasy. I've played Japanese RPGs. I know what grinding is, and I don't like it in my games. Like I do it, and I do it to, to, to get to end goals, but it's not something I want, especially not in the starting area. Like I don't want to have to walk up to this weird char dude at a forge and then pick up tools for like 30 minutes to complete a, a but bar. But see, that's the thing. That's, 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 that's elegantly the thing done. Is, it's a bar in the right-hand corner one of the screen. reasons. That's, that's one of the reasons why they give you generally... A, a, around three options like you can kill these guys or you can go and and pick up these things and do this or you can go and grab this and put out these fires like they give you multiple things to do and the idea of it is is, is that it doesn't feel like a grind if you are choosing to do that one activity you are creating the grind it's it's it's, yep. it's kind of it's your fault. interesting it's because your fault. <laughs> the reason i do like the one activity oh, Felicia, for example what has happened is, like, over the last three BWEs, and I've, I've kind of started by doing all the opportunities, and as I, I've done it more and more, I find myself specializing. Because what I've found is um, those quests are usually split into multiple objectives. One of them is usually killing something. The second one is usually picking up something. And the third one is usually, um, like, like traveling between two things. Or, yeah, it's like gathering some way or distributing food or something like that, right? Yeah. There's, there's usually three, times, three ways of doing it, right? Um, so what I've found is... The most efficient way, the thing that does it, like, fills up your shitty little bar on the top right hand corner of your screen the most, is to do, um, I think it was always, almost always picking up stuff. Picking up stuff 
is by far the fastest way to complete those, at least as I've found so far. So I just main that one thing because I want to get it done quickly. Because doing the rest is fine and all, but it takes you way longer to do all that stuff inclusively than to just mainline. I would things. actually, I would actually say it 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 might take you marginally longer. But again, like you, you are, this is kind of going back to something I've I've emphasized a few times on the show is that the idea of doing things efficiently and trying to get through it as fast as possible, like that's not what this game is about. Like no, that's like not the I spirit play, like, of Guild Wars. Like too. not. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, that's like, not the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> but they're still putting a bar on my screen. They're still, still like showing me. I think that kind of they have to because stuff. otherwise, like they, 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 so they have to give you, you some you indication. Have a goal to complete. Yeah, they have to you give you some goal. indication to know like what you're. Guys, what you're I would rather towards. a checklist. I would Guys. rather a checklist. Do this ten times. Do that ten times. And do that. Ten. Like, actually, asking you to do all four things. What's the difference I, between? A very, well, because no, one, because one encourages thing, you doing more things, and the other one doesn't. What? In the chat, Project Three Four Three has a great point. And my my opinion is. I'm kind of with Cynic on this, but at the same time, I think they just, they need a, a few smaller, like I know you have the sort of dynamic stuff going on, but I think you do just need a few smaller missions where it's sort of like, go kill this giant bunny rabbit that's in... Oh, man. Right, How awesome is... would it be if heart quests were mini, like, groups of dynamic <laughs> events instead? Well... But see, that, that's quest, the thing, though. Like, like that I said, that goes... That would sound that, a heart quest. That goes back to what I was saying. Like, the heart quests are there... To teach Forever. players who have played MMOs, like, this general idea of, like, open questing, basically, it's kind of what this game is about, whether it be heart quests or um, dynamic events. And the heart quests really are there as kind of a stopgap for the players who, you know, haven't played or have, have been playing MMOs. They're not, from, they're not as comfortable with a completely open game like this. Um, and so they put them in there at the beginning to give you a very pre, you know predefined go here do these things and you will get experience when you've done these things and as you progress through the game you get less and less of those and more and more of those random or random uh, dynamic events and yeah. that's that's yeah. E them easing you into that gameplay style and they the hard quests as they are right now are a necessity well, I don't know, and again, I didn't say to remove the Harkrest. I just said that instead of it taking me half an hour to complete one, why, wouldn't it be better if it took me 10 minutes? You know? Still a significant amount of time, but not enough to break the... Like, because my favorite thing about Gears 2, as all of us, bring you go from dynamic XP event to dynamic to event like to dynamic tenth. event. That's fine. Or a third. Just but then what, it, you, like, what you're talking later. about is at that point, if, if, you're, if you're talking about making them completable faster and with that, reducing the amount of XP that you get out of them... You're then you're talking about you well what you're encouraging is going back and doing those heart quests over and over and over again which is then in well, and of itself you a type of grind. That's the beauty of the heart quests so you can only complete them once and then they're completed. Um which is cool. Like that, that's why they in my opinion they work is because they're no, a checklist. No, but then they literally focus on going like all right I, I just need to go around the map and just do hard quests. That's it. That's what they already do. do that. This is the problem. But they're doing no, that and no, then they're spending they, but they mix in hours dynamic hours events and hard quests. They're going to see like oh hard quests are faster but they're going to be more efficient. You, so I'm just going to avoid is not to remove them is just to reduce how much it takes to do it. Well, I think I think just to remember that in the full release you'll probably have a lot more people around you doing the same thing. I think it's personal completion though. No, the, the hard quests, all... it's it's a combination, I think. Yeah, because um, I've had it just go up, just finish with, yeah. like, gone to yeah. get some toast. And yeah, exactly. Anyway, so, oh, right, um, some other guys. Judge yeah. Pub actually brings up a good point. They said if you reduce hard quest XP, means you're going to have to um, ramp up the mob XP, which then basically kind of in in a way encourages more killing, which is more grinding. I would prefer, I would prefer instead of um, ramping up mob XP, like giving that XP to the mobs, I would give that XP to the dynamic events. But that's the thing you're talking about. You don't about, want to give too much XP. Cynic, to you're, you're, you're talking about you're, you're talking about emphasizing dynamic events. dynamic events before they should be emphasized. They shouldn't be emphasized in those starter zones. The, dy the dynamic I events are emphasized be. later I on. I think they should be. You, you think they should be because you're used to that gameplay style. As somebody who has come from MMOs, no, and the majority of the people playing this game are going to have. I think you're misinterpreting that. Exactly. I think it should be encouraged. Exactly, because as Noob is saying, you want to encourage people to seek those out. You want them to explore. You want them to get the big XP by going out and doing something different. But at the same time, I don't think they should make it too like you. You do this and you get a shitload of XP. I think it needs to be a fair amount. It's like a small, exactly a small amount. Like just two thousand one areas. Yeah. So I don't think they should put the XP there. Like I think what we're I think what we're we're kind of discussing here is. Basically, we're probably discussing out something that happened in the ArenaNet um, 
uh, you know, in an office Board. somewhere there where yeah, like they, 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 they ran over the same thing. And they and one person died. Yeah, and, and they probably came to the same conclusion where if you yeah. if you reduce the, the experience and reduce the time for the, these heart quests, um, then you need to balance it out somewhere. You don't want to balance it out with mob kills because you don't want to encourage grinding. Um, but if you incur if you increase the uh, experience you gain from dynamic events proportionally to what you're decreasing the uh, the hearts, then you're going to be way over emphasizing dynamic events comparatively, and it, it just it, it completely messes up the flow. The dynamic dynamic or the heart quests are there to kind of lead you from dynamic event to dynamic event. So you need those heart quests there in those early places just to kind of move the player along. So you need to have the emphasis on them. If you if you pull the emphasis away from that and completely towards the dynamic events, it's going to be, I think, a lot harder to get players to move the directions you want them to move and for the zones to flow the way they do. They're already struggling with that as it is and have made some changes that are going to be, we're going to see probably with the stress test, if not live, um, that's going to fix some of some of those issues already. So that, I mean, it's yeah. clearly something they're already struggling so with. So I, I want to move on to the next, my next point, but um, I, because you got two more. Oh my <laughs> God. Um, we haven't even discussed ours. You've only been yeah. going over yours. Yeah. You selfish Well, you jerk. guys did a shit job. No, I, I came <laughs> I up with it. I had one. Guild halls, guild halls, uh, and then uh, you started yeah, saying, went... "What would you remove if you wanted guild halls?" And then well, we're like, the thing. This, "This is something anything. they can actually do First in a very instantaneous, almost instantaneous basis, right?" Like this is something I don't have to worry about removing or taking, and and I think none of mine really have any taking away or putting in, which is why I think they're doable. The, the oh, like when you ask about guild halls, the immediate answer is all of us want guild halls. Like that, obviously we want that, yeah. but I, you can't really ask them to change that because it's not already. Like the question is, what would you ask them to change? Um, what would I ask them? To change, like if change. and so if you're giving them, if you're asking them to give us guild halls, you have to have a something oh, to take. Oh, change! Out. I want, I want my holy trinity. So I'm going to do my second point now. <laughs> oh, well, I, I'm going to. Well, I have a, an addendum to the hard quest, and I, I think that this will all play out over the first couple of months, and they'll they'll adjust it on the fly. They'll see how people are reacting to the amount of time it's taking to do hard quest, and that, this will all be solved for them essentially um, by the that initial influx of people. I, I, one of the things I do want them to do though is for some of the hard quests. This is an addendum. This is not even my second point. Um, for hard quests, what I would like them to do is some of them are like kill monsters in this area, and what's the kind of that's trying to encourage you to do is to spread out from the hard quest in a in a circular kind of fashion and experience the dynamic events in the area because that's kind of the thing that going out and starting those killing of mobs spawns those dynamic events. So it's kind of like leading them towards the dynamic events in an interesting fashion. The problem is um, you don't really have an idea of how far from the heart you can go for that to count. So you kind of have a thing where some players are just circling around a fort, especially as I think of a specific fort in the human um, 15 to 25 area in, in Kessex Hills. Uh, people are just like circling around a, a fort, killing everything in that area over and over again, waiting for respawns and killing everything in the area, rather than actually spreading out and doing a lot of dynamic events because they're afraid of it not counting. So I'd love for there a way to be a way to see on a map how wide you can go out for the hunters. Yeah, that actually that not being included in the game I thought was really odd. That's uh, the, the idea of... Um, kind of a, a quest helper where you, you show on the yeah. mini-map kind of the, the circle of influence for a quest yeah, has been in exactly. games for at least, I mean, at least a little while. It's, it's been in, in, you know, yeah. it's in Star Wars, it's in WoW, it's in, um, uh, I believe it's in Rift, uh, it's in Terra. Like, it's in all the, you know, the major MMOs. So, like, the, that that doesn't exist in this, <laughs> especially <Terra>. given, <laughs> especially given, <laughs> like, the, the style of, of these these hearts and stuff. Like it just it, yeah. it does amaze me that they didn't put that in there. I really really hope. Yeah, that goes and into it's soon. weird because they already have that in the background. Like they know on their end what the uh, radius of influence is. It would be it would be fantastic if they could just surface that to the player in some way. Well, like dynamic um, events have a circle. Yeah, they straight up have a circle. So like, yeah. yeah, I can see why. Well. It's crazy. The why don't you do that for her? anyway? So that's, that was well, just dynamic an events disappear and appear, and like what is it called? Hard so quests would just be ugly circles on the map everywhere. With the circles. Well, no, the idea would the be focus <laughs> is actually they, they would appear when events. you get near them. Yeah, I mean, it, it would be like you walk into it, and when, when you become a part of that um, that heart quest, basically, when you get the kind of prompt on your screen for it, that would be when your circle would show up, and it would let you know kind okay. of where your area was. No yeah. man, those circles I mean, well, are fucking different fugly. colors. Zoomy, like zoomy, the the, the heart crust are golden and the um, the dynamic events are orange. Or instead of doing instead of doing the circle exactly like it is, they could do something like other MMOs have done, or like for instance, like WoW does, where it's, like a, it's just different coloring. It, yeah, it changes the coloring. They of should the map make itself. the radius a heart, just yeah. a golden heart. <laughs> 
<laughs> just a big golden. But no, I, I, I totally agree with you though, saying because there were there were plenty of times where I was just you know doing my thing, like you know doing whatever I needed to do for the heart quest, and next thing you know, I realized that I just ran like fifty feet outside of the the area of influence. Yeah, it didn't count. And so like the last ten minutes of stuff didn't count towards it. Yeah, that's bullshit. I think bullshit. I think when you're in the zone, there should be like a FMV of like a stereotypical <laughs> military guy screaming, "You're in the zone." <laughs> <laughs> Or just, just Every, all games need more all FMV. the time. Just all the Live time doing FMV. that. Yeah, oh, just like all a guitar the, just... riff every time you get a <laughs> kill. <laughs> yeah, because you're always in the zone for something. So just constantly, there's a guy going. Yeah, and then like you're in if the you zone. kill, like if you constantly kill mobs for like 30 seconds, you get like an airstrike, and it's like you get the arena <laughs> commandos in. So Mechanically, awesome. I want Guild Wars 2 to be a first-person shooter. Uh, Four <laughs> uh, Card Rebellion. Is an interesting point. Yeah, yeah it, it, it um, does so... remove it, but if you're kind of in the zone of what you're doing, you may not notice that it's just disappeared off of your, the right side it of the screen. It actually kind of doesn't. It actually kind of does. What, what it does is, on your top right-hand corner of your screen, um, you have like a kind of a log. It's like, it's usually like four or five items log, and it shows you what you're currently doing, what hard quests you've recently touched upon and stuff. What it does what it does when you're doing the hard quest is it shows the hard quest and it shows the bar of completion, right? Um, what it then does is, when you move outside of the hard quest range and you perhaps have a new um, major objective, it, it minimizes. then minimizes. It, so you still have the title of the hard quest, yeah. but you can't see like the, the bar. The bar is gone. The problem yeah. is... When you're moving between, like you're on the edge of the hard quest, and you're kind of moving in and out of the hard quest area, it doesn't maximize again. So you actually can sometimes be completing it without being able to see the fact that you're completing it. Yeah. Or alternatively, when you when you think you're completing it and it's minimized, it can suddenly stop being completed, and you won't know because it's still minimized. You can click on it obviously to maximize it again, but it's just not uh, quite perfect. Four Cutter Rebellion, I would actually disagree on its leniency. There were plenty of times where like the things that I needed to do for it were in an area that, that was outside of what it considered its influence, even though like they were strictly there only for this heart quest. So I, yeah, I, I like, feel like I feel like those areas of influence awesome. could actually be, be made bigger in a lot of cases. That would be good as well. So my second I've, point is... Um, or did Zuma, you have anything to say? Yeah, I've, I've had that before where it's like minimized the bar and then it's completed and I've been like, I should really report this as a bug. But I'm not gonna, <laughs> and then like, <laughs> then like run off. You're part of the problem. Like, <laughs> You're part of the problem. Then, yeah, and then it turns out, oh wait, no, it's just, it's just I can't maximize it again. <laughs> Great. It's just it's Great. bad UI, is what it is. Uh, yeah. So point number two, um, scouts. So I love scouts, and they're probably the best thing Guild Wars Two has done in PVE. Almost. What? Aside from, like, aside from other uh, things, right? No, or we'll say the it's combat the best. or everything. I believe you had the best. I, I would say I aside believe you had an orgasm over the idea of dynamic webs. So definitely, yeah, I wouldn't yeah, say the exactly. best. It's, 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 it's in my top couple. It's in my top couple because scouts are great because it's... the way they they've executed them is they the idea like the the chain of user interaction for Guild Wars Two when you get into hey I'm using big words and it sounds complicated um, the chain of user interaction when you when you enter I people, don't understand is, you small you words. see heart quests <laughs> uh, you see heart quests on your map right then you either explore the area and find things like for example waypoints you find you find quests, you see skill skill points as well um, yeah and skill points right. But when you talk to a scout, they actually show you the entire map, right, while you're talking to them, and point out areas, also give you background of why you should go there, which is kind of awesome, and then it covers them up, but it keeps some elements of that UI now permanently on your map. So you have a... I don't know what that means, Lol's basket. Um, so you have your... Today I learned. Your map now. Hey, you have your waypoint <laughs> on, your, on your map, and you have hearts on your map, and so on and so forth. So you should you know be a teacher. After Nick. talking to that, uh, after you talk to that scout, where you can go from now on, but still have the element of discovery because your map is no, is not actually completely uncovered, like it is during talking to the scout. It, it just tells you, hey, this is the general direction you need to go and explore to find these things that the scout told you about. It's kind of awesome. It's a pretty great thing. Um, the problem with scouts is though, one, a lot of people don't know about them. Um, and I don't know how they can fix that. Like, they, as soon as you spawn in PVE for the first time, there's always a scout there that usually is doing, like, a um, real world, waving their hand at you and, like, uh, telling you, hey, talk to me, talk to me. They, they do that. They yeah. do that. Um, uh, also, like, these the scouts themselves, they're in really, like, sometimes really random places. Like in the middle I think of there should be a, a dubstep drop every time you get near a scout. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, like... yeah. 
You just get near one, then all of a sudden, there's a scout. <laughs> 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 and the <laughs> hey, it's the scout song, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, if you listen closely, you can hear the cry. <laughs> every, every, every scout looks like Skrillex, yeah. and then he does a dance. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. That's, that's the thing. Like, if you're not paying attention to the scout, or like for example, you load it to the area and you like for one of the first times I loaded into um, the human starting zone, uh, the scout was there. I kind of noticed him like momentarily, then I looked up and I was like, "Oh, this skybox is pretty," and I just missed him his entire. <laughs> I literally Ooh, missed him entirely, <laughs> entirely. So it's an interesting problem with scouts in that like you, you straight up have this amazing system in your game which really should be implemented for all your players but you're you're obfuscating in terms of like where they are um and you also find you like some players just don't know that they should talk to them like one of the things is um the scout always leads you to the next scout which is amazing when you yeah, talk to a scout they it's like un a scout uncover network. the map yeah it's a scout network like, which is kind of cool because that's how it is in real life to some extent um what? Wait, not, not like scouts not like, <laughs> Wait. not like you know Today, I'm talking scout about... Scout network. <laughs> anyway. Excuse me, sir. Could, do, do you know where the scout is? <laughs> <laughs> do you know where the next scout... Do you know where the next scout is? Talk to <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, like, uh, how, you, you kind of have... Just, just walk up to your nearest be, Boy Scout and... Yeah, how much <laughs> depressing I can imagine a kingdom scout. having a, or, like a, a network of people, like criers or whatever, to talk to for people to know where to go. Hey, scout. It may not be like real life, but it makes sense. Um, anyway, so the scout always leads to the next scout, which is awesome. Uh, the, the problem is, if you don't talk to the first scout, you never know where the second scout is. That's the problem. Well, I, I think they show so I guess like an easy solution to that would be like when you come out of the kind of tutorial area and you load into the real world, um, the, like your next st step on your story should be go talk to the scout. Talk right? to a scout. Yeah, that would be good. Isn't it? Also, I, I like thought it, it was. Yeah, it I, might, yeah, I thought it was. It might be. It might be. Yeah. Um, but then again, like then you, a lot of people don't start their personal stories immediately, that kind of stuff. Um, but either way, like that's that's actually not really what I was getting into. I, I was saying more along the lines of, wouldn't it be great if scouts were like the other checklists, like they always on your map, and you have to do all of them in, in the area to complete your um, no completion. no. It's that it's that because that's just a weird juxtaposition of you use scouts to complete your map yeah, and and, and then you, you need and the scouts. Like, I was just running right, you've, you've you. discovered sure. the map like entirely already, and you're like, go talk to these well, scouts the cool to learn about, about the map. And I'm like, they, I already they found show the map. you where to go to complete your map in the first place. They no, should no, be the, what if, the number what if, one. No, no, like. You don't know that, and you just finish the map, and then they're like, "Go talk to scouts. You'll learn more about the map." But uh, yeah, I you're think, doing yeah, this I house think, backwards. <laughs> you're I doing this house no, backwards. but I, I I completed most maps without talking to scouts. Well, I think Basket uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so has, has a good point. Basket has, has a good point. He said that some people uh, want to just find it for themselves, and they don't really want to that's take very it true. Around, so. That's yeah, very man. true. Um, I don't need no man to tell me what now, to do. I will say that's that's a problem. And the thing is, yeah. I will okay, say okay. A, a, a similar issue to the scout issue um, that I ran into at least, and maybe I'm just dumb, um, but was with uh, when I finished Heart Events, I didn't know that you could actually go back and they became a vendor. Um, yeah, probably, so I ended point. up saving up like 4,000 karma before I realized <laughs> that I could buy things. Yeah. Which is, like which is 73 why... karma. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. man. <laughs> like the richest man alive. <laughs> <laughs> The great thing about Wolves as well is you can go there at any point and get karma vendors for um, your current level or the, your five level range. So if you're sitting on like five thousand karma, you can usually go to Wolves as well and get better gear than you currently have by just talking those karma. Anyway, Fuck yeah, apple that's pie. A side point. I think apple if you pie. get to the second uh, scout and you've missed the first one. The second one should go. You've missed the motherfucking first. Scout. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think. I think. Kind of what we're. I think what we're kind of hitting on here by by talking about this. You know, this, the scout issue, and then this issue as well, um, as well as kind of the uh, um, heart completion thing, is they aren't very good at relaying information to the player in this game. Absolutely. I think this is just all around. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, when we're talking about like going to world, world, world versus world, like going to the mist itself, like that alone is a like. You have to find somebody who knows how to do it in order to go in there. Like, there's no like quick, oh, yeah. you just go hit this button and do that. Like, it never, it never tells you how to go in and do that. And so, like, the very first yeah. time that I was trying to get into World vs. World, I was completely fucking confused on how to get in there. Like, I had to go hit the, like hit this button and then from there go into the <laughs> mist. The and then and about? then from the mists, I had to go find the portal to go into World vs. World. And then it turned out I don't think I needed to actually do that, but that was how I was told to do it. 
Yeah, exactly, because you can go through portals in your main city that takes you to, like, the, the Lion's Arch, which will take you to the World vs. Worlds portals, or... I spent I mean, 4,000 pounds on fun boxes because I didn't realise I was using <laughs> real money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I thought I just think, it was like, all like, fake like, currency. The I just think, like, there, there are like... aspects to this game that they just do not, like, even remotely... Um, address in the like, like I said, with World vs. World, like that's never even mentioned while you're playing through the game. You could actually play through the entire game and maybe even queue for you know random battleground stuff. I don't know, but never yeah. actually know that the World vs. World even exists if nobody tells you about it. Yeah, and, like, well, that's might, well, we don't know that. We might learn about that later in the game. Maybe, maybe, but you never know. Um, so that's that's my second point. Uh, I, I just think they should some way improve, improve scouts, and not even like a, a dramatic way. Like my, one of my first ideas um, was that the the scout uh, cinematic thing, you shouldn't have to all, walk all the way up to him and trigger it. If it's your first time near that scout, it should when you go near to him, it should just trigger automatically. Uh, no, so, I don't agree with that at all. I, I, I fucking I hate it when I, I the only thing I hate or the thing I hate the most is when an MMO takes control away from me. Like, I know that sounds weird, especially given that I was talking about earlier how I wouldn't be opposed to, um, you know, cinematics or whatever. But I, I, I really, and, and I guess that extends even beyond MMOs. I, I'm not a big fan of walking forward and then suddenly complete control is taken away from me, and now they're going to show me this thing. And especially in this case where they're just showing me, okay, you can go here, and you can go there, and you can go there. And, right. and while you say, like, yeah, this is the first time you've been there, what about on your second character, third character, fourth character? Like, you just can get fucking annoyed every time you walk up to near a scout. I guess I'm used to Japanese RPGs, which 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 I'm I'm fine with that. So like when they take control of me, but actually giving me information I I want, then I'm, I'm well right. But again, that. you're talking about but playing again, through the game everyone, one time. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no one's. It's not perfect. But either way, the current system isn't perfect, and I just think they really need to do something about it because people are getting lost, and that's not a good thing in any. We all know it would bug out, and you'd just be instantly triggering scout constantly from wherever kind of you were. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I will say though, um, like so people, the, the, idea, the idea of people getting lost is kind of odd in this game because the game is, is it really it like encourages exploration. Yeah. And so if you're getting lost, it's kind of it, funny, it's, right? It's, it's kind, kind of, of because again, like kind of backwards. Yeah, like if you're getting lost, it's probably because you're trying to play the game differently than you should be. But it's weird saying that you should play a game a certain way. Well, no, no, no also lost, like, lost in the way like you know I want to get to destination X, but I, I'm kind of lost because I don't know which direction to go. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, and you you've got have, like um, hundreds of waypoints everywhere. Yeah, the, th- the thing is, right. like for your personal story, they still do the green dotted line and the and the marker. If so, I get like, lost, you, you'll I never better be able to do a fucking story. polar bear. There better be some polar bears or <laughs> oh, some numbers fuck. or don't something. Bring up that show. I actually don't like that show at all. So what show? It's not what? What are we lost. talking about? Lost. Oh, I've, What's I've lost? not even watched a minute of that show. Thank you. I've All right, good. Let's leave that it that way. So my, my last thing on my list, and I'll let you guys go after this. Your lost um, thing on your list. Is <laughs> to... And, and this, might, this might just be a small point and move on. I think they should just fucking remove skill tiers. Sorry. Oh, yeah. You yeah. tried it out. You were the one... I remember you were the one arguing for skill tiers, and me and Durin were just angry, I, and I you're like, I actually really like skill tiers. right. Arena Net's right. I really like skill tiers. I actually, to, to this day, like skill tiers, but only on, like, three classes. Most of the classes do it pretty terribly, where skills you probably really want, um, or that are almost key to survivability, are significantly further up the tiers. Well, I, kind of I guess the, the issue I have with skill tiers is that in a game where um, the idea of that kind of balance um, being necessary exists in structured PvP more than anywhere else, and in structured PvP everybody has everything, the idea of tiering them makes no fucking sense. Because, like, in PvE, <laughs> like, what does it matter if you get, like, the highest in one real early on? Because all you're going to yeah. be doing is, like, dungeons with people or, you know, normal PvE stuff. And if you're in World vs. World, if you decide to save up for the, the big, super powerful one, you're one person out of 2,000. Like, you're not going to... Yeah. That's not going to matter that much. And PvP yeah. is already unlocked, so it's not even... Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. Yeah, structure is where it would matter, and it doesn't matter because it's all unlocked, yeah. Yeah, but but the well, that's kind of interesting because the structured PvP is supposed to be the well, it's it's end up being the high barrier to entry. Everything is unlocked at the start. You kind of have to know what you're doing before you get in there. Even though they kind of give you stuff to start off with, like you, you still to be successful, you kind of have to learn quickly on your feet and adapt to it really quickly. Like they're kind of expecting it to be pretty hard to get into, so they're finally giving you all those options up front. Um, 
the problem with PvE is I, I love the fact the skill system does kind of meter out to you your advancement in that uh, it gives you direction. If there's a big pool of skills, this is the problem we, we've taken before, but why are we not implementing the system? If there's a big pool of skills, you have two situations. One is someone just to be confused and not want to read all of it and not know which one to buy, so just buy the cheapest one or just buy the one with the coolest picture. Um, or two, people will know what they want and just unlock everything they want from the start and never really go outside of that. Um, those well, are no. two big issues with the current, with a pool system. Um, you're like you're not going to just leave skill points lying around. You're going to unlock them anyways. Yeah, like, exactly. Like they said, just that they, you're just going to pick what you want first, but you're going to unlock the rest yeah, anyways. Like they they've said the that like when you get to max level, you're going to have way more than enough um, skill points to unlock every skill and then some, and then you can still continue getting skill points through other means. So I don't think that's even going to be an issue. So do you, do you guys think they should just ditch the skill? I, I, th yep. I think personally yep. Yep. it's not working at the moment because some classes just don't do it right. Maybe just moving a couple of them around will, will change my Yeah, like, I guess, I guess they're... like my own game-changing point, but go ahead. Yeah, like I guess their reasoning for it is to make it, again, to make it easier for players who are used to, like, you know, standard talent systems in, um, or st I guess standard... Standard um, progression unlocks in MMOs, um, so it makes it easier for them to make those decisions and all that, and I, I guess I can understand that, but again, when those decisions really only affect your PvE, it just, it, it seems pointless. Yeah, I think um, the, the thing for me is, that the, the main thing I get from Guild Wars 2 is, the game's all about the flow, it's all about, you keep moving, you keep going through this world, you explore a lot, um, and I agree. Ha having a big pool, maybe to a arena, you'd click your talents and then, holy shit, got to like study this pool of skills. Yeah. Like A lot of players will have to study it for a long time. But if you go for a tiered system, you're like, all right, I can have one out of three, this one does this, this one Reduce does that. Reduce the amount this. of reading you need to do up there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that the tiered system is perfect, I'm just saying that in a game that's to me that's all about keeping things going and keeping things moving like the pool system is perhaps well i don't know you can you can press you can press the r button and then you can open up traits while you're running <laughs> and then you can read well, it and, and not, not only that not only that but yeah, i mean really when it comes that. down to it there there were plenty of times um that i was playing especially on necromancer because their tiered system is fucked um <laughs> where i was just having to fucking throw away points into abilities I was not fucking planning on using just so that I could get enough points into that tier yeah, to be able to unlock the next Again, tier. Like, that's you, why you, this you sucks. You waste five points on one tier and then 15 points on the next to get one skill you want in the that's final the tier. That's one of the problems. That's one. And then, and then for that, you have to pay five skills. So what? That's yeah. it's it's only that's good for like the system points. only really works for people who is their first time in. And, and I don't, and for I don't elites, think there's a problem with holy that. Holy crap! For elites, that's ridiculous. That, but... For the people like us who are, who know what they want to begin with, the system really sucks. So maybe there is something to be changed there. I like the skill tier. Like again, just a yes and no answer. Would you guys want them to remove the skill tiers? I, I think yes. no. Yes. Um, if they didn't remove yeah. it, I would like them to maybe reduce the number of tiers. Um, yep. Maybe drop it to like a three tier instead of like what is it? Or, like a or five have tier? The, oh, or have good. it less? That'd be good. Have less. Just make it all one. And and, and I I also like feel like um, if if they're going to do that and they're going to keep a tier system. Don't make the elites so fucking hard to get. Like, don't make me wait until I'm like level thirty plus to be able to finally unlock an elite. Well, you have yeah. to be level thirty plus to unlock an elite. Like, that's that's what that, I'm that actually... would... That's just because yes, of the tier system, can... though, isn't it? No, 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 no. no, no, no. It's actually. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Unlock your elite slot. Okay, I thought you don't understand. Like, yeah, uh, well, yeah, a couple of them is... interesting. Right, right. Like, I'll just make a point. Like, when I was playing on my guardian, once I got like my first third tier skill i realized that i can no longer spend skills points on those skills because i needed to start save by saving up for my elite skill like when you hit that level like level 20 that's when you need to start uh, saving up for elite skills so you cannot even spend any more of those points unless you want to yeah, you know put your a, elite a skill back pretty... five levels i liked it before when i when i thought that the because especially now that we know that you can spend um skill points later on as uh, for other things I liked it back when I thought where each tier was still one point per skill. But I, 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 love, I like that because it, it doesn't punish you too much for delving deep into the skill tier if, like people like us. I mean, that's, that that's, still, immediately. Like, that's still 11 points for one skill. That's not it that's was originally better than 25 seven. or whatever it is. Well, it's, it's not as good two. as 7. 
No, it does not <laughs> exist. Separate. But at I least think, this uh, kind of gives you both effects. It kind of gives you both. It kind of lets you make them really cheap up front. It allows you to spend more skill points later on stuff you might want. Um, it allows the new guys to have less reading costs. Um, and also, at the same time, still has that tiering system, so you can kind of introduce people to their, their basic class skills. For example, the warrior does it really well, where you kind of get all the skills you want up front, which is good. Um, and that, that kind of stuff. Like, I, th I think reducing costs might be a simple solution. Yep. Thoughts? Uh, zoom uh, what if you like but each tier you sort of I don't know got rewarded or something so say you put 15 points into the first tier because at the moment you're literally dumping points into pointless right. uh, abilities right. simply to not list it but say you know so say we're forced into this tier system you know you put 15 points in and then you unlock like you can choose from a, like a batch of weapons that will all be quite good or a piece of armor. That would be pretty cool. So that would you, be pretty cool. You, you get rewarded, and then it's or, like, well, maybe I'm maybe I'm not getting the abilities I want, but I'm working towards a neat piece of gear. Or, or a how about here's a free maybe, skill? Yeah, I'm sorry. yeah. I was gonna say instead of instead of taking it outside the skill system, maybe if you maybe you have like you know you need two points in in tier one in order to unlock tier two, but if you put five points in tier one, you get a free skill in tier two. Oh, that would yeah. be pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. Um, so that that's the skill tier stuff. I think we, we, Steal we my idea. Multiple I, have, I, I have one really one <laughs> one last one. Yeah, I want to move on to other minute. guys. So noob, um, we we still have like what twenty or ten, eleven minutes to go. Get, uh, noob, get rid of trade thoughts? books. What the fuck am I doing with the trade book? Get rid oh, of them. Oh god. Okay, look. I so is, agree. It's like you're level ten, right? You got oh traits, traits. Wait, I need I need to get a trade book, right? So you get you go to the trade book vendor, and they re and you realize they want to take all of the money you have by level ten <laughs> to get that single trade book. Like all that hard earned money. So true. Been, well, and, and playing it's even, for the last it's ten hours, worse they're if, just swiping it from you. It's even worse if you had been playing a lot of World versus World because if you're trying to spend that money on like stuff in World versus World, you're not going to have the money for the traits. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. like. And then you need to buy three of them. Three. Oh my god! And they, it's like ten gold. Well, the, the last you have one. the thing where, like you, like us. I think many of us had this situation. You are out there having fun. You hit level eleven. You and it starts a bitching at you, saying, "Hey, you need to buy this book. Hey, you need to buy this book." Also, you have to stop having fun. Go to town, find a skill vendor, and buy the book. Well, in no, no, no. Find the skill the vendor, IRS, and we're here to take all of your money. No, you have to stop having fun. <laughs> go, go back to town, find the skill vendor, and then find out you didn't have enough money for it. Oh <laughs> God! And like, and like, Sh yeah, and like, Shinboy points work. out, like in World v World, you also have armor repair. So yeah. if you're if you're leveling through World versus World, like that's that that is now lo no longer viable. It's like. All right, all right. I'm I'm gonna start saving up for something cool, right? And then you hit level ten. Oh, I guess all of my saved up money goes to this trade book. <laughs> exactly. Oh, this, the trade. Book <laughs> well, that's kind of a stand. Like terrible. that that idea of once you hit X level and and you unlock whatever this this thing is. In most games, it's mounts. Um, typically, the way it's always been is it does take a fair chunk of your money when you go do that, but you get this right, cool thing this out is, of it. This is not a mount. But this, yeah, exactly. This, like, this, this isn't, is yeah. This isn't this something is mechanic. Yeah, this isn't something optional. This is something you kind of need. Right. So the reason they, they put in trait books, and I, I do want to at least touch on this part, is that um, what they do is, I think it was up to like level 30 or 20 or whatever, you can only get, you can only invest a maximum of 10 points in the trait line. So they kind of want you to meter it out such that it stays at a maximum of 10 points of trait line, and you can you, you can start experimenting between all the trait lines and try out the Why not just put a hard limit until you level up to like 40 or yeah, 50 exactly. or something? Like, why, why even that? Something. Forcing me in to pay to money. Respec, in order to respec, you have to you pay a significant amount of... Yeah. yeah. So it's like all the systems I, okay, are kind okay, of contracting one another. I, like, I thought Guild Wars 2 was supposed to be like building your character the way you want to spec it, but... Yeah. If you're forcing people like these money limits, like hey, mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta pay us this. Hey, it's cool. Oh, you not, can, you can not go buy you can go buy gold in the, in the yeah, game shop. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. Sure, man. Sure, you can make any character you want. Just just put the money in the bag. That's <laughs> literally what they're telling us. <laughs> Something else I change. Um, when you're investing traits, those trait points, right? <laughs> wouldn't it be awesome if it allowed you, like like a Mass Effect kind of system, where you invest traits mm. and it allows you to 
add and subtract as many times as you want until yeah. you close the window. Like, right. why does yeah. it have to be that every time I click the button, it's entirely locked in? And, and, and I'll tell you right now, that's, that's, that's not a Mass Effect thing. Fuck you. That's not a Mass Effect thing. Like, that's pretty much every major MMO will let you do that, and you have to hit an accept yeah. button before it finalizes. Fucking yeah. Oh, why does it do God. that? Why does World it do that? World, World of Warcraft used to do it where you click it once. And it was in. Yeah, you the it, last you... game I remember doing that was Diablo 2. Even Titan Quest doesn't do that. Come on. <laughs> even Titan Quest. Even Titan Quest doesn't do that. God. And that game um... killed me. <laughs> so what, what we'll do now? We'll probably close it out because Billcast is starting soon. But um. Oh, I like can to say I say something? The... If any of you are watching the Billcast, point God out, it, point out to that guy. Don't, that he don't, stole... don't, don't, don't do this. He stole my name. It's my <laughs> name. You stole his name. No, he's he Ed, stole my he's name. Ed Park. No, yeah, I'm Ed Park. He is Ed Park. I, I am the single only at it's identity theft <laughs> and it's illegal and um, I don't even I don't there's so no I, FBI I want to say in that Canada. the other topics Asurable. on this list are pretty cool. Uh, I, I think it was the Art and Guild was too and Reddit. touching back on crafting or at least um, I, I do some about crafting. We might bring those because I I'm probably gonna do another one of these tests next week. Maybe <laughs> yeah. I might get an actual webcam <laughs> for myself. <laughs> Um, so uh, we'll just try to see what our webcam set up. Because our, our idea is, when the, by the time the game, oh, she's so horrible. By the time the game comes out, um, we want to have like at least some form of solution, <laughs> some form of change to the, <laughs> some form of change to the, to the linking gas. Maybe go to Four Faces format, or maybe like just a video stream or a live show. We're or for our do... crotches, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, basically, I'm saying you can pay us and you can see our crotches. So, so we will hopefully um, touch on the art and the crafting on next week's probably so, test. So you buy these Lincoln tokens. By next week's, you mean Lincoln later this week? Gets you one minute oh, of the no, stream. I also want to announce that since this is pretty cool, we'll probably do our show, our, our actual Lincoln cast. We actually record on Friday nights. Um, your guys' time, I'll uh, be a bit more specific about that. Uh, so we'll probably do that live as well. So if you want to like, just hang out with us while we do an actual linking cast, we won't be taking stuff from the chat probably because it's a bit distracting. It kind of gets us off topic a little bit. But um, we might do a we question section staying on top. Yeah, yeah we we'll probably do, do a question we'll section. Yeah. Um, but we, we will most probably do a live linking cast this week. Duran, do you want to tell us tell them what uh, recording times we usually go by? Um, we time? usually. Uh, Lincoln time. Usually 8 p.m. Central time, though uh, the, we tend to not start recording until 9 p.m. So I'll say 8.30 p.m. Central time. So that would be, yeah. uh, what is that, 6.30 p.m. Pacific? Is my uh, math right? I, yes, something like that. Something like that. It's that a negative math? 5 I, o'clock. Uh, can I mention Lincoln also time. something interesting? Uh, the stress test tomorrow isn't stressing the service, it's actually stressing us. Like They're going to be screaming, <laughs> we're going to blow up your house if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> finish all these quests that's what the stress test is about tomorrow I'm, it's I'm, like... pff, I'm not sure that was funny I laughed <laughs> so, so what do you guys think about that Felicia Day box opening video I thought it was pretty oh, hot God. If, you go to right, zero, so... if you go to 38 seconds she does like this moan and I just repeated that over oh, and man. over and so over we'll, again we'll end the link yeah, cast be there like... um, if you don't I, find the motherfucking skull, the, if you, you buy Lincoln tokens you get minute of um, some nice for the YouTube dancing. upload, I'll end it there. We'll keep going. Um, so anyone in the chat, we will stick around and we'll continue to. Uh, box I agree, it around. was fun. Um, but thanks for listening to <laughs> this uh, archive of the first Nikin Cast live test show. We will probably do one next week, so you can check it out then. And I'll post this to YouTube. So thanks for listening. I'm Uh You can join us at well, twitch.tv forward slash Durin at least for now, um, every week, for now. And we also are uh, at the linkycast at gmail.com for feedback and at the linkycast on Twitter. Um, Duran, do you want to take us out with a goodbye and a numerum? Bye. Yep, yep. see you guys. Are we having any plugs? No plugs. I will do plugs on <laughs> oh, no. normal podcast. Should we say we're plugs recruiting the for the. For li- can we say we're recruiting for the podcast? We're looking for people of a certain. certain. Um, you know what? I won't say it. I won't say it. I won't say it. You're right.